Um, even though, of course, I, I know why I'm on this panel to discuss humor and, uh, and be the comedian. But, uh, you know, since we are discovering uh, society, I've discovered something where in the last few weeks uh, which has affected me, which is something I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, I hope we'll be open minded about it. Uh, the fact that, you know, something, uh, I would call it a disease called sexual harassment. Uh, is unfortunately on an extremely high uh, place in India right now. I think it's, uh, it's, it's embarrassing. I think it's, uh, it's insulting. And there have been cases which have been happening. And we've reached a point in our society where we are negotiating the sexual harassment. I've had people say things like, Ki haat to laga hai, rape to nahi This is not right. This is not right. It's wrong in any sort of society, but this is not who we are. Now, this is for men and women. I want to clarify. I personally know men who have also been sexually harassed. Okay? So, if any one of you here, and in all honesty, I am probably one of those men. But I've been in a relationship where things were not as planned. So, it is not who is doing it. It doesn't belong to a sex. But recently, of course, it's, it's unfortunately on a higher higher place with women right now, which is I'm, I, I would like to apologize uh, on behalf of men, women today, that uh, we're sorry uh, that this is happening because something that broke my heart recently, there was a big case, I don't know if you guys know about uh, a big media house uh, tycoon who got uh, basically into this case of sexual harassment. And of course, I went out and I spoke on, on behalf. And there were a couple of ladies and this, this statement broke my heart there was a lady who came forward and said things like, Mere saath to nahi hua. It didn't happen to me. Main baj gai. Now, two things angered me with this. One is the fact that women, you are not lucky in this society to not be sexually harassed. Not being sexually harassed is not your privilege. You are absolutely, you know, I, this is from my school of thought that women are far more superior than men. I believe that. You know, it's not, there is no, yeah, there is no joke to it. There is nothing to it. I believe that. I believe that. You know, because in general, when you are in a society and, and you know, a comment like this, you are the younger generation. And when I mean by younger generation, sir, you are also everybody. For me, everybody is a generation which can make a difference. For me, a young generation is a generation that can make difference. It doesn't have anything to do with age group. As my father says, it's not the age, it's the mileage. I don't want to tell you in what context he said that, but <laughs> it's a different thing. But, but in terms of, you know, what we are discussing now, that we needed to make it a point that we, as a generation, we said a lot of young, I promise you, everybody here can make a huge difference standing up for it. All of us face it on very small, small levels. All of us, you, all of you have this one friend who is Turkey. Stop that. Stop that at the right time because we have reached a point where it's unbearable. It's unbearable. I never want to be in a society where you walk around, where your sister's walking around saying, Ki, yaar, main to bach ghar a aaram se. That's not a life to live. Right? For anybody. And I hope, and I hope, uh, today after I finish this and I hope we reach a point in society where you know we can stand up for the opposite sex, women and men, when it comes to any sort of harassment. Thank you. And the fact that it's my dream, it's my dream that at least in our society, we reach a point where when they ask us, what do you do? Both of us will have the same answer. When they ask me, what do I do? I say, I do stand up. And they may ask you, what do you do? You say, I do stand up too. Thank you very much. That's my time. My name is Imran. Thank you.